More good news though? Yeah. Remember that NAS company that I invested in? Yeah. Remember, yeah. remember how people were like hating Garbage. on the launch and the comments were all like, this is pointless, no one would ever buy this? If you're excited about this, you should feel bad. Remember how they had a really, really great launch yep. and lots of people gave them a bunch of money? Want to hear one of the cool things that they are already doing with that money? Yeah. ZFS AnyRaid, sponsored by Eshtek. So that's the, the NAS company that I made the uh, small investment in. Um, this is so cool. Earlier this week, dude, I've, I have wanted to talk about this so hard because I have known for a while uh, because they basically immediately when their, when their first couple days of sales were bonkers, they were like, oh my God. Let's like, do something. There's have opportunity road, now. There, there's stuff that we had on the yeah. roadmap for like, like the future that we could just immediately start fixing because there's these projects that are just like super cool, but just not funded. So people can't work on them. And we could just, we could just do this cool stuff. Dude, oh, I've wanted to talk about this <laughs> basically since they are freak, they freaking went out from cover, whatever, whatever blue cover, whatever it's called when like, uh, the, when the, when like a startup stops being stealth, unstealth mode, sure. whatever, there's a term for it, doesn't matter. Yeah. The point is earlier this week, Ashtek, the creators of HexOS, investment disclosure, introduced to the world ZFS Any Raid, developed by Clara Inc., sponsored by Ashtek. ZFS Any Raid will introduce two new pool layouts Any Raid Mirror and Any Raid Z1. Any Raid Mirror will be available first and will ensure that all data will be written to two different disks in pools of more than two disks of differing sizes. So, um, this is a little bit out of order, but the point is you can raid disks in ZFS. So, so, so raid Z, not like hardware raid, like software raid Z, like ZFS. Yeah, 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 so yeah. you can, you can create pools with differing disks and yeah. you were always able to do that, but there would be a huge loss in Massive. total capacity. Uh, you would basically go lowest common denominator. So if I had uh, a 10 terabyte drive and a two terabyte drive and I raid um, Z1 to them or whatever, whatever. No, I think technically raid Z1 is not a mirror, even though it like kind of operates like a mirror if you just have two drives, don't worry about it. The point is if I used them, I would get a total of four terabytes of usable capacity out of my 12 terabytes. That's not a great experience. No. So um, any RAID Z1 will take the same concept and, fe and features as ZFS RAID Z1, so where you can lose any one drive, and it will add support for mixed drive sizes. Uh, oh, this is so cool. So how much space can we gain? Here's some examples, okay? We have a pool with a four terabyte drive, a six terabyte drive, and an eight terabyte drive. Okay, so we are, this is some, this is some mix and match here, all right? Okay, check this out. Oh, wait, I can't screen share. Dan, Dan, can you show them the table? On it. So in, a, in mirror, so this is a traditional mirror. Uh, I can't see that, Andy. In a traditional mirror, uh, we would get 10 terabytes only out of our total, what is this, 12 plus 8, 20, out of our 24 terabytes. That is, that is an awful amount of storage to give up to parity, okay? In new any raid mirror, we get 12 terabytes. Okay, that's not a lot more. But as you can see on our table that Dan maybe has on the thing, I can't tell. You can see on our table that if we add a four terabyte drive, we actually get half of the capacity, whereas with the old mirror, there would be no change. Okay, so a little bit exciting. Here's where things get really cool. In raid Z1 versus any raid Z1, our pool capacity goes from literally half, okay, 12 terabytes, to 16 terabytes out of our initial 24. And then if we add four terabytes, we get two and a half terabytes instead of, okay, actually that works out a little bit better on the other one. The point is more. The point is more. When is it coming? Eshtek says, uh, they won't even say soon, but they will keep the community updated as the project progresses and hits key milestones. I am, I am pretty, I am pretty excited. Um, 
getting more of your it's usable space very cool. out of mishmash of drives is a very consumer friendly feature that has pretty much no benefit whatsoever to enterprise customers who are just always using matching drives, which is why this has never been worked on. And just like how a lot of people were like, oh, like as a home lab enthusiast, this isn't necessarily something that I would want. Sure. Um, cool. This caters to not necessarily home lab enthusiasts as well, where it's like, this is just what I've got and I want to make something out of it. Yeah. So this is, in my opinion, this is a very like informed Thing for them to back early. Super. I think cool. it makes a lot of sense. Super cool. It's for people who are just you know building their first Jellyfin server. You yeah. Know, who are, who are who are who are. I've got dabbling. some old desktops that yeah. have been in the garage for a few years that have yeah. some drives in it. Let me throw these in here and do what I can. Super excited for this Sick. dude, uh, and I'm super excited to see them taking that initial money that they got from their uh, from their like alpha. You know, hey, trust us, we're gonna do cool stuff with this, uh, uh, like launch, and then actually doing cool stuff with it. Just because I'm starting to see this already, no, we are not saying that nothing else can do this. No, but ZFS, this was not a feature of ZFS. And so that's what's really exciting, is you get all the ZFS goodness, but also mix and match, which is awesome. Awesome. Yes, I know Drobo existed ages ago. That's not the point. The point is... And there's, yeah, other ones. ZFS. Uh, one